All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to the next part. Now we're gonna go attack a Mundo. Masausa right in his black heart. Oh, I was supposed to appoint a new governor of that other province. That's right. Well, whatever. The importance here is not the taking of the territory, though that is important. The importance here will be the damage we can do. Yeah, we'll suggest personal combat with Zhang Fei. Sao Ren agrees good. Sao Ren is the best war ability guy with 84. Other than Sao Sao. Unfortunately, Sao Sao is in the damn castle, so. Yeah, it's gonna suck. His other forces should melt away in the face of our onslaught. The cool part, though, of course, is this will. It's not so much the taking of this land, although that'd be great. We'll have our land bridge. So I'm very happy. And Sao Ren is actually a good general, and he won't betray you either. He's actually a fairly good uh, dude. I've, I've played through plenty of games with Sao Ren. I don't know if I already said that. Look at the balls on this guy. He's gonna jump right in, huh? Get uh, quadruple surrounded, is he? Okay. Have at it. I don't know which guy that is, but uh, whoever he is, that's not very good tactics. Uh, he'd have been a lot better off just staying in that fort because he would have forced me to move around him. Because uh, it just wouldn't have made sense for me to uh, just try to charge through. I, I guess I could charge through him with everybody. That wouldn't have been a problem, but still would have been better not to do that. I think I'm just going to kind of stick here till I extinguish him. I was going to slide, uh, slide him down to the fort to block anybody else who would try to make an entrance, but he's not going to last that long for anybody to come up here and interfere. Plus it doesn't look like, oh, okay, one guy does want to interfere, but by that time we'll be out of here. Alright, so we should, uh, he should be finished pretty quickly here. And uh, I'm going to have, is that Zheng Bao? I can't remember. Zheng uh, Zhao uh, Tong. Okay, he's coming around. That's uh, Chao Yun's uh, son, by the way. Jin, okay, it's a pretty mediocre general. You gotta kind of spread out here so we can get uh, our advantage on this guy. I don't want to really split our forces too much, and I want to take advantage of as many mismatches as we can numerically because they do have us over, uh, have it over us numbers wise. Um, Yeah, they have it over us good because they allow you to have more defenders than they allow you to have uh, attackers. So you can attack with five. Oh, that was pretty stupid of me, uh, but not the stupidest thing I've ever done. Uh, and here's the thing: I think the computer's going to outstrip me in stupidness and succulence by going in there. Yep. <laughs> Because I think the, uh, the deal with the computer is uh, the AI says, hey, there's the uh, leader of the attack or the leader of the whoever, and that's the guy I'm programmed to go for because if you beat the leader, then the rest of the force has to retreat. So they're all going to go after uh, uh, Zhang Fei there. Zhang Fei. And it's just, uh, it's not a good move. Uh, because there's more important things. Plus, you're not going to get Zhang Fei. Uh, he is the weakest of all of our units, though. Uh, I'll say that. That's most likely, and I'm just going to have him kind of sit out. Uh, Zhao Tong. Because he's always the one who's getting targeted by the attacks. Uh, in addition to that, uh, the fire thing. Of course, they're going to go ahead and set fire to our poor dude as much as they can. All right, Zushan got taken prisoner, and uh, we'll see if this guy is dumb enough to step in. Eh, I, I suppose I just leave him there. I imagine this guy's gonna try to walk around there, which is fine by me, because if he goes that way, he's gonna get himself caught in a could be a quintuple attack. Although I'm probably not gonna bring Zhao Tong in there. I probably could have moved him one more square. I just wanted to 
I don't know what I was trying to do. Maybe I knew what he was going to do anyway. He was going to go after uh, Zhang Fei regardless. Uh, so that was pretty stupid of me. I'm sorry, it's not even Zhang Fei, it's Guan Yu. Uh, oh, what's his name? Uh, Guan Yu's my, uh, my head general there. Of course, I don't know why I thought. Maybe because I saw him in the singular combat. And so I was like, oh yeah, yeah, Zhang Fei is the leader of the attack here, but he's not. So whatever, doesn't make any difference. Zhang Bao, of course, being the uh, son of Zhang Fei and Zhao Tong. Uh, the son of Chao Yan. Neither of them are quite as good as that, although Zhang Bao, 93, that's not bad. Uh, 78 on Zhao Tong is not great, uh, although he has better other skills. Not better than 78, but I mean that uh, Zhang Bao's is uh, pretty dumb and pretty uncharming, like his old man. But he, in 99, 99 attack gives you a lot of leeway. Maybe we should try to beat this game of Lu Bu, huh? Oof, that'd be tough. I mean, it sounds great, like Lu Bu, wow, Lu Bu, right? Uh, but the problem with Lu Bu, of course, is he's great as, well, no, he's actually, no, no, sorry, I was about to say something that wasn't true. He's great as a general. No, he's shit as a general, because he'll betray you all the time. Um, as a leader, he's also shit, because while 100 war ability does make him almost impossible to beat in one-on-one -on -one combat, does make him like a defensive machine when you're trying to attack him you know but I'm usually not on the defensive I'm usually on the offensive um, the problem is because he has such low charm and such low intelligence like the, the worst part is the charm as you saw earlier that's why I quickly got Han Jun uh, killed off because he would have been of absolutely no use to me. Well, he'd have been of reverse use to me because I couldn't keep anybody's loyalty up because he's so uncharming. When you give gifts with an uncharming general, they don't help much. That's the biggest problem. And that has an effect on how much loyalty you can maintain too. So the loyalty ends up uh, going down uh, depending on you know compatibility and also uh, depending on the amount of uh, charm your uh, your governor or ruler has now if you can get the uh, the royal seal that brings it up to a hundred I guess I didn't really think about that but I think you get that from taking the province 19 no I think it's after you take over X number of provinces which that's great but by that time you're already well on your way to winning the game wow you hit my guy pretty hard there and we're trying to rot out this core uh, center here so that we can get out of the uh, uh, double attacks on the side here. Maybe jam somebody in the middle there. No, that'll put somebody in a triple attack. That won't be good business, right? I don't know. We'll see. There we go. Chen Quinn was captured. Good. Yeah, I don't know if I want to put somebody in the middle of that. I could put people around the side. That'll probably work a lot better. I mean, these attacks right here will do just fine. Let's see if they try to collapse back at all. I didn't expect to have too many problems with Cao Cao's men, but I do expect to have problems with Cao Cao himself, who I believe has probably armed himself by now. No, he has. Okay, so that's pretty good. <laughs> but still, Cao Cao's, you know, he's 93 war ability. 93 or 91, it's something that's way too high for me to really want to mess with. And, uh... It's definitely uh, not something I'm looking forward uh, to doing here, especially because he sets fire to everything all the time. And now, now I can't do the triple attack because I don't want to trap my guy in there. Although he could have stepped back. I guess that was kind of stupid of me. Yeah, this capital province is pretty, it's got some pretty cool defensive structures. I mean, you got forts from all the approaches, uh, except for that one, the, the tree approach on the side. There's nothing there, so I guess that one's a little different. Uh, shoot, well, that guy is not getting hurt very much now, is he? The only people who aren't catching on fire are the ones on the water. Which makes sense, because the trees obviously have the lowest fire defense in the game. Um, but we're hoping for a rain shower that will go ahead and fix that uh, problem here. 
Let's just work this guy down here. So, I mean, like I said, part of my interest is uh, dislodging him from uh, Province 10, but the other part I want to do is weaken his, uh, his forces in the field so they have less ability to interfere with what I'm doing up north. Uh, obviously, one of the problems is I left that province wide open uh, for a province that had like, you know, 400 and some troops in it. Of course, they're going to make that move. Uh, and they did. And uh, not devastating. I want to, what devastating consequence. It was devastating. I mean, I had uh, my zero troop guy run away. Uh, now, if he kept prosecuting the offensive, and uh, went after all my rear provinces and beheaded all those generals, that would be a problem because I need those generals to be my slime trail. Uh, so yeah, I don't know, did I make up that word slime trail? I didn't hear that somewhere else. Whatever, it seems to fit, right? You know what I mean? Like It's like you're a slug marching along and you leave a slime trail. Uh, and if you don't have the generals to fill in the gaps, that's no good, you can't hold any territory. So I need some holding forces. Well, I don't need forces, I actually just need generals. I don't care if they don't have any soldiers because in this game, there's no like, you can't uh, do marine, you know, naval insertions or anything, amphibian landings. So there's no Navy in this game, which is kind of silly because you should be able to do some naval stuff on the, um, the ocean. And then of course, most famously, in Romance Three Kingdoms, the Battle of Red Cliffs was a naval battle on the Yangtze River. Ah, oh, to be continued next month. Well, that could actually be good too, because that could draw in more forces. What could be bad is if Nine decides they want to try to take advantage of the chaos there and uh, come at me. Uh, so that's one of my strategies I actually use when I've got a, and I think I've used it in some of my other games that you guys may or may not have seen, um, I think that I put that strategy into usage a couple of times uh, where I went into a battle with a very large opponent and just kind of hung out there and fought a bit, you know, but let it go the month and then have sent out some of my troops. Yeah, surely I did that. It sent out some troops that were weak, some uh, units that were depleted, replaced them with fresh ones. They did the same. And the good part about them doing the same, of course, was at that point, Hmm, geez, I'd like to have some more money here. Oh well, that's okay. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and send a couple of guys down here. They don't have to be great, but at least one of them's gotta have sol- uh, Well, let's send both of them have soldiers. Yeah, chin shy, what a turd. Oh well, we'll send them down there. Probably can't do too much damage. There we go. And we'll need to send some money there eventually. Jian Yang, he'll be fine, I guess. He'll be fine enough, won't he? All right. Now we need to send some money to this province so we can arm these guys up a little bit more. Province 39. Just hang out, guys. Cool, thanks for the money. All right, province 28. Finally has its full complement of troops. And we're just sitting here. Nothing really to do with these guys. All right. Yeah, so we'll see if South South wants to send him some more reinforcements. That'll be very interesting to see what exactly. Yeah, I got these good generals here. They have nothing to do. Maybe we should switch them out for some losers, you know? No, oh, I don't have any gold. I got horses, though. Yeah, maybe I should switch these guys out for a couple of guys who suck. That's an idea right there. All right, you got 2,000 gold. You have nothing to do with. Uh, send it right here. Oh, very good. Province 3, you, you have no troops. Um, you have no money either. That's that's also a problem, isn't it? Alright, where's your loyalty? Is that any good? Yeah, could be better. I think this guy's also kind of a backstabber. By nature. Uh, which is fine. 
It's whatever. Nice. Good job, buddy. Alright, Private Six G. Ah, and I meant to replace this guy. I know, I know it. And I didn't. Uh, so we're gonna have to do that fairly soon. Oh man, you guys really suck. So you know. So yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. Good. He's send. He's got nobody to send there, really. Yeah. Well, let's send him more reinforcements in. Hopefully five will send. Yeah. Good. I was hoping five wouldn't go after seven. That's good. That's actually pretty. That's a good thing. Because uh, we want them to deplete their forces in that fashion. And actually, that might open the door for us to go into 17, maybe 20. No, no, we don't want to do that. Yeah! Oh, wow. That's one of the few times I've ever saw them abandon a province. Alright, well, we gotta run from this one, too. Which is not a big deal. Who is this guy, anyway? I don't know. It doesn't matter, does it? Alright. I'm going to seven. Yeah, unfortunately, that's kind of what happens there when you <laughs> get a little ahead of yourself. I don't know why the hell he wanted to do I could have hired some troops if I had left him with some money, so that was pretty... St oh, cool. All right, I'm happy about that, at least. Because I'd rather be sitting next to Sun Chuan, who was a, a real do-nothing, than be sitting next to Cao Cao was always ready to jump in with something. Alright. Sometimes strength can be turned against its, en turned against its enemies. Yep. But, uh... uh what, did I have some ideas? Uh, let me look at some real quick. So, Wei Yan, right? You were a turd, so you go look. Okay, this is province 17. So that's a pretty fair force that he has there. Nothing that I couldn't take out, though. It's one of his better generals there. Alright, let's look at 11 real quick. Mm, let's see, war ability. Blue Ba. Okay. Yeah, they left that place pretty naked. All right, you know what? I think I'm gonna try to do something a little tricky dicky here. And I gotta be careful, obviously. Okay, because I'm leaving my province here pretty not well, pretty not well guarded, pretty pretty naked, I would say. Let's see what happens. All right, Ma Zong, you stay in charge. Let's see if I can take advantage of this chaos here. Let my boss man challenge him. So this isn't the greatest war ability force ever, but I do have Huang Zong, my, my lord here, who's also very strong. Uh, and we're not going against too much. Like, Zhu Yu here is not tough. Uh, what's his name? Zhu Shu is uh, 65 war ability, or maybe 67 war ability, something like that. But he doesn't have any weapons for whatever reason. And I think for my battle at 10, I'm actually not going to try to win, but rather I'm going to try to mess up his reinforcements. Uh, I think because that'll be the better strategy uh, in order to weaken Cao Cao's uh, forces there. I'd like for him to stay stronger along the eastern seaboard, though, just so he can retard, um, so he can retard Sun Chuan's uh, ambitions a bit. But I certainly don't want uh, him to have too many, too much strength next to me. But yeah, taking out eleven here would be a useful step, a very useful step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy. I think he's like in the 30s war ability wise. You're probably gonna withdraw, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Now, of course, Zhu Shu, like I said, he's a pretty able general. And in the story, he ended up teaming up with uh, uh, Liu Bei, and they did pretty well for themselves together. But 
Uh, unfortunately, he was uh, the victim of a vile forgery by uh, uh, Sao Sao, which was supposed to be from his mother, who uh, demanded he come home, which home was in Wei's territory, in Sao Sao's territory. And uh, of course, this wasn't real. And his mother was ashamed that uh, Zhu Xu had uh, returned in such a fashion. Oh no, uh, she said that she was being threatened in the forged letter that uh, Cao Cao was like threatening to kill her if uh, his her uh, son kept working for Cao Cao. But none of this was true, and in any case, she didn't want uh, she didn't want her boy to work for Cao Cao, which she considered to be an indignity because of Cao Cao's status as being a usurper, and so she killed herself. Um, out of shame that her boy had uh, foolishly uh, thrown his life away or, or gave up working for a good man and would now have to work for Cao Cao, who's a turd. In any case, Zhu Xu is awesome, and I'm glad to have him. So that was a pretty good victory. Which is loyalty, buddy? Yeah, it's not bad either for a guy I just got. So that turned out maybe to be a bad move, but they probably thought they'd better throw caution in the wind. Also, I've cut him in half now, which is pretty good. Since I have, uh, yeah. So now their lines of communication have become tougher. Let's go ahead and cut this because it's at 20 minutes right now. So I'm going to cut it. See you in a few.